everybody, welcome to day four of the Golden Goblet. We got uh, three three days that couldn't have gone better uh, up to this point. But day four is a little spicy for me. We're playing Chinese checkers. I have never won a game of, uh, of Chinese checkers in this. Now, to be fair, I've only played two. Both of them have been against my wife, who knows how to play Chinese checkers. I, I don't I wouldn't say like at the grandmaster level, but she's good, you know, she's good um, So it, it doesn't necessarily mean anything and and unlike Ludo It is a game with some skill associated with it now. I do expect we might take ten years to uh, to find a Chinese checkers game so in the meantime Why don't we have a nice casual? Uh, nine holes of golf where, to be honest, I didn't really do a great job right off the bat. It's not an ideal stroke. How about this one? I I think that this might be the lo Come on, brother. <laughs> These might be the longest queue times for anything except for that time we played Escape from Tarkov on the Golden Goblet. Okay, so I, I think we want like this, and then we're going to hit it like 80% of the way. That was 75, dude. It was still way too much. What's wrong with me? Dunk, dunk. Is really easy to chip in this game, though. What did I tell you? That's still a birdie. Not a single shot ended up on the fairway or the green. Except for the final one, but still. I may put out a tweet that's like, Hey, if you guys want to play some Chinese checkers in clubhouse games, please let me know. Because I am queuing as we speak. Let's hit this one about 75. See? <laughs> oh my gosh truly terrible um i don't think this can conceivably make it but it's not like we're going to use our driver to get out of the sand trap the wind is very strong it's three meters per second not three miles an hour i don't know what i was thinking on that one we got a par it's not a good par but it's it, it hurts it hurts but i hope you enjoy a little bit of golf before we i inevitably here my hope is that we cue into uh, a person who is like you know what I'm homesick from work or something like that, and uh, I just want to play some clubhouse. I don't really care what game it is, and then that that's our our best chance of getting a Chinese checkers game, I think. But I could also tweet, hey, please, uh, if you're playing clubhouse and you're interested in playing uh, checkers, please let me know. Can I not? Oh, there we go. Do we really want to hit the iron on this one? I don't know, dude. This is spicy. Oh, we were so close. We were so close. I'm chipping on the green in every game. Birdie. Chipping on the green and go go do So I think it's fair to say, what are we, three minutes in here? Chinese checkers, not the uh, not the most popular game in the pack. That's okay, though. It is a game that most people know the rules of. So I think that eventually, surely, there's got to be... There's got to be some people that want to play a little, a little Chinese checkers. Oh, 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 the sport of kings, many have called it. I believe it's been called the sport of kings by some. Want to shoot it like that, actually. My God, he's he's a legendary chipper. What are we? Okay, if we if we don't find a player by the end of this hole. I'm gonna tweet. I'm gonna tweet, hey, if you're interested, let's play some games. I'm gonna I'm gonna flex the YouTuber muscle. Let's go. Oh, but this is not this is a tricky hole, dude. It's definitely gonna hit the the tree. Maybe it will have the power to hit the tree and still make it through. My god. My god. That's an iron. And we're gonna hit it like this, like this. Little heavy. Oh! <laughs> You're lucky golf's not on the list. All right, so uh, let's go to Twitter here. We're gonna make a little tweet. The tweet's gonna say, hey, if you're playing Clubhouse, wouldn't it be cool if you queued for Chinese checkers right now? Just kidding. Da da da, unless. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's let's see. This is now a test of my ego. 
Because if, if we find a match in 10 seconds, I'm going to be like, <laughs> I'm a little famous. If it takes us uh, 10 minutes, I'm going to be like, uh-oh. Time to go program databases at the bank. What, what a drive. I mean, what, this is for Eagle, dude. It's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful performance. Wait, that was hole eight? This is hole nine? What the heck is this? Um, all right. You know what? No, I think we want to do it like that. It's a little light, but I think it's bad. It's a little light, but I think it's bad. Where are we going, boys? Where are we dropping? Oh, oh, Steven. Hello, welcome. Don't throw the game to me, Steven, just because I tweeted about it. Don't throw the game just because I tweeted about it, okay? I believe in your ability, Steven. King DDD Avatar. What does that tell you? Smash player. Guaranteed. 30 seconds. If you would like to have... The chance to defeat me in the Golden Goblet. Maybe you're a big Dan fan. Or one of Malf's Ralph's. You got 15 seconds three days ago to queue. If you're <laughs> ready. <laughs> if you're interested. I'm, I'm prepared. I'm not scared. Four seconds. All right, Steve. Is you me oh, Mark! Hit the last second. All right. All righty. So what are the rules of Chinese checkers? You got to get, you start in a little triangle. You got to get all your pieces to the triangle that's directly across from you. You do that by using checkers style rules to jump over pieces. Um, I do not know any bit of the strategy. Except. I think it's better for us to move closer to the center. Because if we move close to the edge, it gives them a guaranteed bounce. All right, every, we're, we're all on the same page there, clearly. Um, so again, I just want to be straight up with you. I have no idea if that's the right move. I feel like we don't want to set up our pieces so that it makes them have easy jumps. But sometimes making it so they have easy jumps might make it so that I have easy jumps too. You know what I mean? So like, that's a little scary for me. Because I think we're giving Pink a lot of initiative here. And in fact, it, it zipped up some of the initiative that I wanted to have myself as well. Um, <laughs> I, may be, uh, I may be truly terrible at, at Chinese checkers. I want that to be clear. I actually think we move this here so that Pink can't continue to disabuse us here. Yeah, see? They were like, oh, I got big bounces. No, I've corrected my previous mistake. Now, I'm relying on green to get involved. Green, if you would if you would be so inclined as to start causing some problems here, that would be... Oh, it would be so helpful, dude. So, I hate this piece. Get, get this piece out of here, please. I hate this game. <laughs> come on, come on. I did talk to Malf, by the way. Dan's indisposed this week. I have no idea what it's related to, so stop asking. Um, but I think we are going to do based on placements. So I'll get... I thought he was... You know what? That's Joy-Con drift right there, baby. Um, I will get a first for Ludo. Okay, here's how we start. I will get a first for Ludo. And if you came third or fourth, then you're going to finish third or fourth, right? But for um, Chinese checkers, you can get first, second, or third. And we'll just say, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just factor into that that into the point placement if that makes sense so it won't be like whoever at the highest placement gets the gold it'll just become part of your overall aggregate score i can't help but feel like pink is winning and i'm in last that's that's how i look at this right now Mm. 
You know what? I mean, why wouldn't you, right? Why wouldn't you? Where are you going? Where are you going? All the way over there. That, I don't know. I feel like that moves you further. Oh, no. You're going to the right side. That's right. That does move you a lot closer to your goal. It does move you a lot closer to your goal. Everybody's making big moves now. Mommy, wow. Check this out. How you feel about that? I'll level with you. This is the game. You know, if you had those that checkerboard chessboard that flipped over to become like Chinese checkers and backgammon and stuff like that. This was as as a kid. I mean, or maybe now. This was the game in the pack that I was like, I'd rather just sit and look at the wall. I don't mean to insult it. I just, I now I'm regretting it because I wish I got to the point where I like, you know, I knew what I was doing because it, it could get me a dub today. But clearly, that's uh, that's not where we're at right now. Though I wish it were. Though I wish it were. I still feel like we're behind, but maybe it's not as bad as it was a little while ago. The middle's all jammed up. Jammed up to infinity here. What are you running it through the Chess Master 8000 to figure out if this is the ideal move? I don't understand. Okay, great, great move. Great move. No disrespect. Where are you going, Mark? Where are you going? Nobody knows. That's the secret. Nobody knows. Over there? All right. An interesting maneuver indeed. I can't help but notice I got Jack S to do here. Um, so we're going to make that move right there. How do you feel about that one? Maybe this is... I, like, I'm not the kind of guy who's like, I'm definitely screwed. I feel like I'm in third, but I, I feel like there's still a chance in here somewhere. We definitely need to move this piece out, though. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to do it for us, but... Oh, oh pink, pink's got moves. Pink's got moves, dude. So it written and I saw it say... Pink's moves will win the day. I think this gives us some runs. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, see, that piece is trapped back there. Hate that. But you know what? Where are you going, Green? Irish Spring, where are you going? Wow! <laughs> That's a pretty good one. All right, well, in that case, how do you feel about me hitting you with one of these? I don't know. I honestly have no idea how to analyze this game. I, I do not know where anybody stands. It's the most hotly contested game of Chinese checkers I've ever experienced in my entire life. The middle being jammed up is, is really... Causing me some problems. I, I I don't know about this one, but just work with me here for a second. Okay, I think pink has a, a serious line. That that's not helpful either. Um, I'm sorry about this one, but I think I gotta do something like that. Where are you going, pink? Not that. Oh no! Come on. That's that's blue bias. You're looking at blue and you're like, I gotta stop blue. You gotta stop green, dude. Look at green. It's getting out of control. Rude. Just just rude, quite frankly. I'm gonna chalk that. That's blue bias. I just got blue biased. Sorry, there's some landscaping work happening outside. <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what. We'll start making uh, moves like this then. Start advancing my pieces one by one. I I accept my fate in this game as we speak. Maybe there's still a chance for the game to, to deem it appropriate that we've got second place. Where are you going, Mark? Where are you going? See, Mark, you got you got bad moves right now because we're keeping it gummed up. I'm doing my part. 
could use a little help from Pink, honestly. Okay, okay, okay I see where you're going. You're, you're taking the long way home. How do you... Get all the way to... He oh, I see how. He's probably gonna move that piece. I think our best play right now is this right here. Time will tell if this is if this is foolish. No, 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 no. What? You want to talk about blue bias? Rude. Everybody's anti-blue agenda is is becoming extremely clear here. But we're un until it's over, we're still in here. I see what you're doing. I see your setup. We do this. I know it looks funky, but I promise you that's the move. Okay, green. Come on. Come on. You know yeah, 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 yeah. Why can't I jump to here, for example? Am I am I insane? Should I not? Oh, because that's your starting position? Because that's your starting position? I guess I'm supposed to just bend over. And be like, please, sir, may I have another? You know what? I refuse. Okay, fine. I'll take my move. But this anti-blue bias has got to stop. It's all right. I just think to myself, you know what's coming tomorrow? Pool. Pool's coming tomorrow. I can handle pool. You know what? Hey Ryan, I'd encourage you to look up the Germanic origins of Chinese checkers, otherwise known as Sternhalma. I'm not doing anything else uh, right now, so sure, why not? Is it is it an offensive name? I have no idea. There is a part of the Wikipedia article that says history and uh, nomenclature, which is the study of a name. So it's possible. The name Chinese checkers originated in the United States as a marketing scheme by Bill and Jack Pressman in 1928. Oh my god, I'm not going to read what they were originally going to call it. That's horrible. All right. So I apologize to my German audience uh, for not recognizing that Chinese checkers is actually a uh, originally a German game. My mistake. My mistake. A basic strategy is to create or find the longest hopping path. How about that? Okay, green is about to win. They have to make one move. Congratulations, Mark. The anti-blue bias gave you a clear path to victory. I have taken third place, and I've never been happier for a Clubhouse video to be over. But thank you, Steven and Mark, for choosing to uh, play uh, some Stern Holla today. And thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow when we're going to play some pool. If you enjoyed it, please do click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Check out Dan and Mouse Respectives. And go to goldengoblet.net to watch us play in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. Or to see how we're doing right now. And uh, I'll see you next time. See ya!